Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be a follow-up video, kind of in sync with uh, my last one. Uh, the review was made over the Fiutech uh, Vlog Pocket, as you can see right here, it's all set up. Uh, and I was getting a couple questions and I wanted to do a follow-up video on the features of this gimbal and kind of like why I, I like this gimbal and why I choose this gimbal 9 times out of 10 as of the last 2 weeks or so. So. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it and I'm just going to real quick just show you the features and the benefits of having this gimbal versus other gimbals. So after I posted the uh, first video, the number one question that I pretty much got was uh, can, what can this gimbal do in aspects of like can it, uh, do you miss having a joystick and such like that. So let me go ahead and clear the air on this. This gimbal right here is just for vlogging. Uh, in, in the aspect of, yes, you can move it around, but it only moves where you turn it. It does, you don't get to aim or anything like that. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's meant for vlogging. So it's meant for using this camera right here or the back camera right there and either pointing it at yourself or doing a real quick kind of like a B-roll segment, uh, kind of like using that back camera right there. Or even filming uh, where you're walking or anything like that. Uh, it is not for, I guess you could say, doing like motion shots in regards to, uh, let's say, skateboarding. You're not going to use it whenever you're trying to focus on someone skateboarding or trying to make a clip or anything like that. You're strictly basically going to use this for vlogging. With that being said, uh, we can move on into the features on why I actually like this gimbal. So let's go into number one, which is going to be the tracking feature. Uh, you can actually set your tracking right there and basically it, it'll track you whenever you have that set. Okay, so in order to start the tracking feature, you can see this little face right here. Uh, it'll be right there on the middle uh, right side of your phone. Uh, if you just click that right there, now you're in tracking mode. And so basically all you have to do now is set your object that you want to track. So I have this box right here. And I'm just going to draw a square around it, and after that, it should be tracking. Okay, so square's been drawn, and you can see there's a little box that, that kind of is around it. You can see it right there. And yeah, so that's probably the number one feature on this. You can see I'm going to pull it way back and really turn it. And you can see the gimbal does a pretty good job at tracking it. Uh, I really didn't have any hiccups right there, so that's a uh, that's a plus. But most of the time, like I said, it does a fairly good job at tracking it. Another thing that I like about it is this right here. You can see it right there. It's a trigger. So if I double tap that trigger, one, two, the phone rebalances and pretty much recenters where it should be and needs to be. Uh, another pretty cool thing that I showed in the uh, previous video that I that I really find helpful is yes, filming in horizontal is great for doing like YouTube videos and such, but I also uh, like to make content for Instagram, and so whenever I'm ready to do that, all I have to do is double tap the uh, home button or the mode button right there on top, and we're into horizontal mode. Uh, if it looks a little uneven, it's more than likely going to be because of my camera's uneven, but it's actually pretty level right here. And we can double tap and take it back down into horizontal. Uh, right here on the bottom, and I mentioned this, I'm just going to re-mention it. Right here on the bottom, you can take a picture for one, or you can hold, and now you're recording. So it's that easy. Uh, there's not really any uh, change in settings on here or anything like that. Uh, if you want to stop taking a picture, you just hold it again and video saved. Uh, also, another feature that I like is the fact that I'm able to save this right here inside of the Fiutech app as well as uh, the camera roll. So great feature to have. Um, you can see if I just open it up, you can 
Let's see right here. And yeah, easy as that. So you can uh, review it through your app or you can review it through your photos app. Either way works. Uh, I'm going to go down this, this right here, the right hand side. And this is just going to be your settings. If you want to control your gimbal, you can do so like that. Uh, if you want to lock your gimbal, you can do so just like that. Uh, and of course you can reset it right here on the right hand side, hitting that button right there. Going back, uh, you can change the uh, camera that you're using. So like I said, mainly if you get this camera or get this gimbal, you're going to be using it for vlogging. And so let's go ahead and change the orientation of that. And you can see if I hit this button right here, which is going to be the arrows kind of crossing each other, uh, we're going to be on the front camera. So moving on, if you want to go into photo, uh, video, uh, you got overlapping images, light rail mode, you got 180 panorama, 360 panorama, as well as a uh, free panorama. So we'll just try free panorama and move uh, iPhone. And so now you're ready to move and you can create a panorama just like that. So let's go ahead and start. And this is just a a rough way to do it let's end it and let's review it so you can see that's what it looks like uh, like I said quick way of doing it um, but we'll exit out of that and we'll go back into modes uh, you can see you got your wide-angle lens which is the typically the one up front and like I said 360 panorama 180 panorama overlapping and so on so Let's go to wide, and you can see right here. So yeah, everyone, I mean, this gimbal isn't, it's very simple in uh, terms of what it can do, but simple is actually better, especially I feel like for, for this gimbal, and if you were buying this gimbal, this is going to be why you're buying it. You're buying it to use it for vlogging and to record or uh, document your day-to-day -day activities. You're, what you're not using it for is you're not using it for action. Like I said, if you want a action gimbal, then chances are you're going to be looking at the Fiutech Vimbal or uh, something along those lines to where it's a bigger gimbal, three axis, and uh, it able or it's able to have that joystick function, which this one doesn't have. Uh, like I said, I don't miss the joystick, but I'm simply re uh, using it to record uh, vlog style videos or uh, document day-to-day -day videos that kind of thing another thing that I like and that I seem to find more and more helpful is we're gonna go ahead and power this off so if you're familiar with Fiutech's uh, DSLR gimbals then what you know is that they actually started making locking features for each axis on uh, their gimbal and what that actually does is that creates your gimbal from moving around, getting shook or anything like that. Uh, and so I really enjoy the fact that they added those features onto this. So there's a tab right here. There's a tab right here. And there's also one on the back right here. So you saw me kind of do it in the first video. By the way, if you haven't watched the first video, highly recommend checking it out. I'm going to leave that right here. And uh, yeah, you saw me doing it in the first video. What you do is you turn the top all the way to the right and then you'll turn the middle all the way to the right and then you'll turn the actual arm to the right as well and then it'll click and so once you have everything clicked then you can see this knob you can make sure it's uh, loose and you just want to fold down And that's all there is to it. Like I said, I find myself using this feature a lot, especially because it breaks down into such a low form factor. So yeah, everyone, that's going to be, again, uh, my, I guess this time, a uh, review and features uh, video on the Fiutech Vlog Pocket. Uh, and I'm going to stick with what I said in the first video, as I highly recommend this gimbal. I really feel like it sets the bar in uh, regards to what you can do with a gimbal uh, without having to carry so much. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to re keep repeating it. And if you ask me in the comments, I'm going to say it again. This gimbal is for vlogging. 
It's for documenting. It's not for action. It's not to use uh, to record movement uh, necessarily unless you're talking about yourself. Uh, this, I mean, it responds well and it, it, it is a uh, very fluid gimbal, but at the same time, if you want something to really keep up, that joystick will come in handy. But this gimbal right here is a great gimbal if you're looking to vlog out in public or maybe not out in public. Being able to collapse into such a small form factor is the uh, the benefit of this gimbal right here. It, it's very discreet. It doesn't stand out. It doesn't uh, get a whole lot of attention when you're out in public and such. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you, like I said again, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you in the next one, guys. Later.